I think the biggest thing we see with technology is that it's giving massive transparency and it's also giving rise to things like social media, which is changing the way that people engage with each other and the way that they engage with organizations. I think the two big things that we see is that people don't necessarily want to engage with people. They don't want to engage with individuals. They like to engage with things digitally. So that changes the way the financial services actually deliver um, products. So you don't necessarily want a face-to-face -face interaction. You don't even necessarily want a call center interaction. You'd like to you'd like to engage with things via WhatsApp, video call, Skype call, etc. I also think that the way that brands are perceived changes massively because of the rise of things like social media, the rise of things like Facebook. The way that you brand things, the way things that you market is fundamentally different and brand value can be destroyed or created in the space of a day. And I think those are things that the financial services industry aren't necessarily geared for today, but they need to take into consideration going forward. I think they're thinking about it, but it's very difficult to move a very big ship. If you think about the financial services industry today and these large organizations, they've got a lot of legacy. They've got big IT expenses. They've got massive legacy systems that are 40, 50 years old. They've got massive infrastructure costs. You know, the banks have got uh, thousands of branches. They've got thousands of people. And to move these things takes a long time. And while they'd like to adapt and while they'd like to change, they're not, just not able to move at this this, um, the speed and the pace that these young technology firms are able to move at. And I think they face a massive threat because of that. You've got young, hungry tech firms that are just innovating at a speed that the banks and the insurance companies can't understand and can't, can't compete with. I think one of the things in South Africa is that people like to think that all of this fintech disruption is happening very far away in Silicon Valley, or it might even just be happening in the UK. And people think that it's not happening here in South Africa, but it very much is. So I run an incubator called Alpha Code, which is a club for fintech firms, and we're seeing some amazing things coming through, and we're seeing some amazing financial services entrepreneurs. So we're seeing everything from things like 227, which allows you to see your full financial life, and they do screen scraping through a technology called Yodli, which allows you to see all of your financial services life from your banking transactions to your insurance to your asset management, which is doing huge exciting things. And they totally understand the design principles of things like Uber and Airbnb and giving you an experience that's much closer to that than it is to your traditional banking. We're seeing companies like Rainfin, which is really leveraging this peer-to-peer -peer technology. So people don't necessarily want to put their money in the bank anymore. They'd like to see directly where do they deposit their money and fund certain businesses. We're seeing an amazing company called Livestock Wealth, which allows you to invest in cows. So if you would like an alternative asset class, you can buy a cow. Um, they're using the concept of crowd farming, where the cow sits in a common crawl, so you don't have to worry about the cow sitting in your backyard. <laughs> you can name your car, you can track your car, you get all the stats on the car, and when it comes time to, time to pay Lebola, you can just trade on the app. I think it'll look fundamentally different. I think it's going to be a lot more fragmented. I think what we're going to see is that a lot of the licensed entity and the regulated entities are going to become utilities. I think they're going to become licensed holders. And I think you're going to see the emergence of platforms. I think you're going to see platforms that focus on customer engagement, that focus on customer value proposition. And you're going to see this big disaggregation. You're going to see the removal of sort of completely consolidated businesses where they fragment into license holder, data analytics, and then customer platform. So I think you're going to see a complete transformation of the industry.